Now we're going to solve quadratics using um, GCF, which is the greatest common factor. So there's a lot of ways that you could see problems like this. When you first probably did this, you have x's and y's and everything like that. But if we're solving, we can only have one variable. And I'm going to show you one example, and then I'm going to kind of add in this with the difference of two squares. So here's your first example. 3x squared minus 9x equal to 0. So before you, the type of factoring that we're going to do is take a GCF out. So you're going to ask yourself, what is the greatest factor that goes into 3 and 9, which is 3? And then you have to ask yourself, what is the greatest factor that goes into x squared and x? And it's just 1x. So when you factor things out, technically you're dividing that term, 3x, from both terms that you started with. So over here I'm going to get x, and I'm going to get minus 3. Set it equal to 0. Again, just like before with difference of two squares, you have two terms being multiplied by one another. So what makes this equal to 0? So for this term, we're going to have x equal to 0, and for over here, x equals 3. So those are our two solutions. So if I added on to this and made a problem, let's say I have um, 4x squared minus 16, yeah, let's do 16 equals 0. So this is nice that it is the difference of two squares, and coincidentally, 4 and 16 both are perfect squares, so you could do the difference of two squares. But anytime you have a GCF, you have to take it out first. You, yes, you can, com you can do the difference of two squares and then take it out of your factors at the end. But when you do that, you're going to have to do it twice and then multiply the numbers. So if you just take it out at the beginning, it's not even going to be an issue. So if I take out a 4, I'm going to be left with x squared minus 4. I still have the difference of two squares. This 4 just hangs out with us. And we have x plus 2, x minus 2. So my solutions are negative 2 and positive 2. And this 4, all it does is make everything 4 times bigger. It doesn't affect the solution.